Yeah, this is an industry, as we'll talk about today, I'm sure, that's undergoing extraordinary change. So we, we'll talk about shale gas, we talk about renewables, new technologies, battery technology, all kinds of things that could change our business. At the same time, our load, which is the use of electricity, is not growing at the pace that it used to. So trying to figure out how to navigate this complex business with lots of capital to deploy and lots of decisions to make at the same time that you're not selling as much electricity as perhaps you were even 10 years ago, that makes it particularly challenging. Yeah, Lou, same question. Uh, well, much of what she says there, she's facing a situation, as is Richard at Sandy Cooper, with deciding how much power uh, generation you're going to build. And you're not building it for next year or the next year. You're building for 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 years out. Now, how do you make wise choices that will, will uh, last that long? So that's not new to the uh, energy industry, but it is significant, and, and even more so when the present day uh, is a, a turbulent one. Yeah, right. Frank? What we see is as we look to the long term in, our in the long term and in our business, with the discoveries of the shale natural gas supplies and the abundance of them, the world has changed very quickly. And when you tend to plan on the long horizon and you see changes coming at you very, very quickly, to be able to react, make the decisions today that might change the course where you thought where you were going and to where you should go today. So those changes to things happening very quickly are very challenging in businesses that require a lot of capital to be deployed. Is the velocity of change, Richard, has it, has it ha happened quickly? It is. Yeah. It's more, more change in this industry now, I think, than, uh, than we've experienced in, in generations. It's happening fast, um, and, and I think what you were hearing over there was our biggest issue is planning. You know, how do you plan for the growth? What is the growth going to be? How do you plan for it? And we can't make a decision today and go implement it even a year from now if it's a new generation asset. You have to plan to get the permits. You have to get the mm -hmm. permits, then you have to build it. So a decision we make today is going to be five, six, seven years before we realize it.